Alrighty then. It's been a while, but I've been busy. I got some pictures to prove it. Oh, ice cold Berkey water. Love it. Um, so like I said, I've been busy. I haven't been making a video. I have not forgotten the gold fund. I'm going to be adding some money to it. Uh, part of prepping is not just accumulating stuff. Uh, it's not just accumulating guns, silver, food. It's also accumulating knowledge and being able to tackle jobs and tasks that, that normally you would have to pay somebody a large amount of money for. And, um, and if you can learn to do these types of uh, projects yourself, You'll be holding on to your money. More money you have in your, your own wallet, more money you can retain. Obviously, the more money you can invest in things that you need to invest in, such as paying off debt and, and whatnot. We have a small bathroom, standalone, standalone tub, and on one side, and you're going to see pictures. Standalone tub, and on the other side of the tub, there's a standalone shower. I would say total square foot. Matter of fact, I know it's 105 square feet. Total wall square footage that needs to be tiled. Some joker came to our home. You know, up and up, uh, you know, uh, a legitimate business. Not some Craigslist business. Not that they're bad businesses, but it was a legitimate business. Measures the square footage. And he said, just for the tub area, he wants $2,000. Tub area uh, is no more than, uh, let's see, six, maybe 30 square feet of tile. And then he wanted another $3,000 to do our shower. That's a total of five grand, folks. And then he came back and said, well, you know, I can do the project. You know, I could do it. You know, uh, I'll be taking a loss, but I can do it for 35 You should have offered me 30 You know, you should have gave me your best price first. Because now that you can do it for 35 tells me you were trying to take me at 5 which I kind of knew. I used to lay tile professionally. I'm just too busy with a full-time job. But even at 35 I knew I could do it cheaper. As a matter of fact, I'm doing it for two grand. But I bought custom tile, and I bought approximately $700 worth of tools, which I'll have for my other projects coming in years to come, for years. So, um, bottom line is I'm going to show you some pictures. I wanted to show you a cool tool that I think, if you're looking for a cool tool, now name brands, it's irrelevant. <coughs> this one happens to be a rigid. It's an oscillating tool. This just happens to have a diamond blade on it. Small diamond blade. DeWalt makes them. Um, I'm sure every I'm sure every Tom, Dick, and Harry makes them. But if there's a tool that you should have in your arsenal, it's this. This thing will do just about anything. But anyway, <coughs> you're gonna see some uh, some images, some pictures of the bathroom project. I wanted to talk about gold and my decision on buying gold. By the way, let's get that out of the way real quick. I'm going to add some money to the uh, gold fund. And I wanted to talk about saving money. It's one of the hardest things to do, especially if things don't go your way. You know, when you, when you add up a budget, when you want to buy something, you start adding up all your... But we've all done it before. We, we take out a, a piece of paper. We start jotting, jotting down all our debts and, and you know, and the paychecks and, and the food. And we start itemizing and see if we can fit in that thing that we want to save up for or that bill. It always, it always looks good on paper, folks, because the paper doesn't take into account surprises or unexpected 
problems that arrive. So we've been saving up for gold and I'm gonna add in another $40. Now normally I would add it in more money, but surprises do come about and that's what happened. That's part of saving, that's part of this, this motivational thing I got going with this gold fund with you folks is don't worry about it. if you can't put in $70 or whatever your goal was every freaking payday. Life happens, shit happens folks. And it's just a matter of just putting in what you can to achieve that goal. So what? We don't get what we want in exactly the, the timeline that we want. Life goes on. You die, you're not going to be able to take it with you anyway. Relax. You're going to get, and you, I'm going to get. We just got to save up for it. But we also have to take care of our, you know, our problems that, that come up. You know, uh, that, that happens. So... Anyway, about the gold, I decided not to buy the gold this payday. I started looking at prices and there was, let's first of all, let's get Kitco Metals up online. And I'm going to tell you why. And I think you're going to find that I'm making a wise decision. I'm just trying to get up there. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Live gold prices. Here we go. Let's see if that's it. Nope. Uh, let's see. It's a little booger to find sometimes. Your metals. I'm just trying to find out. One of the darn... Gold spot prices. Here we go. I think this is it. Here we go. Okay, so I want to quote you today's silver spot price at sixteen eighty-seven. Round it up at seventeen hundred bucks, folks. That's a lot of money. So I my goal was to buy a quarter of an ounce, but at the time of this gold challenge, a quarter ounce would have run me right around three hundred and fifty dollars, maybe three hundred and seventy dollars, somewhere in that area. Now a quarter ounce is probably going to run me close to five hundred dollars by the time you start adding in their premiums. Maybe it'll be 475. I like rounding numbers up. To me, I'm not paying 475 for a quarter ounce of gold yet. So here's what I thought, and maybe you'll agree with me and together we'll hold off on buying our, um, our gold. Remember, you're saving up for your gold, I'm saving up for mine. We're gonna all go in together and buy when we can. Due to this coronavirus, the markets took a dump. And what happens when, when the markets take a dump? The heavy hitters, the heavy investors, they vacate the market. They'll sell high. I don't care what anybody says. They get insider information. They sell at its high. The price of, of gold drops. They went into physical. It depleted the market. The prices went through the roof. Trump is about to open up states. Therefore, the economy is going to gradually improve. I believe, and this is just an opinion, those heavy hitters, those heavy investors, are now going to vacate precious metal, precious metals, and get back into the, into the markets because the economy will start to improve and they want to they want to ride that that wave up so to speak it's at that time i believe my own opinion that gold and silver are going to fall again as those heavy hitters those heavy investors vacate the precious metal markets and get back into investing into the economy investing into uh, whatever they've been investing in the, in, the, in the first place, whatever they vacated. I believe that's going to drive the gold and silver prices back down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a frog in my throat. So I, at this time, and I told you I was going to make this decision one way or the other. 
Well, I've decided to go one way. I, I decided to stay. And I'm going to wait till next payday. And hopefully a few of those states will be open up to start doing business and start to drive the economy up again. I want to keep an eye out on the gold markets and see what happens. I believe gold is going to go down. That is when I'm going to notify you folks that I'm going to buy my gold and hopefully you'll buy, be ready to buy your gold. So that's my decision. I'm going to stay in place right now. Um, take a look at the pictures of my project I'm doing. Again, it's good to know how to do things. Um, it saves me money. The money I'm saving, I'm able to invest in future products, uh, projects by buying more tools. Um, I bought a wet saw now, so if I ever move again, I need to do tile on the house or I need to do tile bathroom walls or whatnot, showers, I'm able to. Um, again, get one of these tools if you can. Um, oscillating tool. This one just happens to be by Rigid. Very good name brand, but DeWalt makes them. Um, this releases that, and if you, I'll just go slow here. You could see it go in and out. It just grabs onto the blade, so to speak. Excellent tool, very pretty, and pretty inexpensive for what you're getting. Thing will cut through anything depending on the blades that you get. But the fact is, it's so easy, and it's just an all-in-one tool. Definitely recommend one of those. Anyway, again, thanks for tuning in. I'm going back to work. Please look at the pictures. Um, let me know what you think. Tomorrow, I'll be laying in the walls. Take care.